Welcome to Stone Hands, to the hands of stone, the poetry in architecture, the forms from which the universe consists of, the things that we observe around us. When we go to the old places, to old towns, to old castles, to stone circles, we feel an awe, an amazement over there. We are fascinated by the beauty of the form. And also we are charmed by the minerals, by the paramagnetic qualities of the earth, of the rocks that have been put into those buildings. As the modern buildings, the modern architecture usually lacks diversity. No, not in a form or a shape, but in the materials and in the consistence of the materials. As they have been passed and they have been made into a liquid form that has been shaped into a form to see those rich mineral alloys of the natural stones and of the natural ingredients, the, the trees, etc. It's more complicated, more complex array of different minerals that are affecting the quality and also the craftsmanship when your eye when you, and also the material are enchanted by the beauty, of course. When I was in uh, in the school, around 15, 16 years old, I was fascinated not by the compulsory literature, no, but by the literature of my own choice. I was reading classics. I was reading books about Freemasonry, Templars, and one book that really affected me was by Vitruvius. He was a Roman architect and he wrote 10 books on architecture and there he argued many reasons about how to position the city, how to plan it, how the prevailing winds will be affecting the angles of the sun shining down, what is aesthetical for the eye and pleasant for a person to live in. For example, the med medieval towns were really inspired by the Roman architecture, the taverns and inn, the taverna comes from the Roman word, the quest house. From there developed the inns, the road system of the Romans was superior but also there was a Celtic road system in Europe. But it all evolved into our modern society. And then people began to take from the Greeks that they were the forefathers of our civilization. Not really, but they were great inspirators as the Greeks were able to preserve the ancient knowledge of the Egypt and Mesopotamia. For example, the, the Da Vinci man of Da Vinci, who is like standing like that and has the circle around him, he got it from Vitruvius. And the pe people say it's Vitruvius man who is reflecting the golden ratio. But the Vitruvius got his man from Pythagoras, who was the forefather of mathematics and Greek father of music, actually. But Pythagoras said he learned all from the Egypt and from the mystery schools of Egypt. So Pythagoras got his knowledge from the lineage of the Egypt. And in all in the ancient Mesopotamia, people have found the same theorems on mathematics as Pythagoras embodied. So the things that we know about mathematics and the beauty of structure 
they date far, far longer back than the ancient Greeks. The first flushable toilet, it was found in the, in the Crete and it dates, it comes from the Minoan, Minoan culture, the Minoans who lived many thousand years and thousand years before the Greeks even settled the homeland of Hellas. And it's, it, there's a, this uh, interesting myth about, about the Zeus being born, the great god, father god of the Olympus. And when he was born, his mother did not want his father Uranus to know that he's born. So the titans were banging against the bronze shields mullets that the Uranus would not hear the birthing of Zeus. But later the archaeologists, the musical archaeologists have found out that in that myth they were not shields that the titans were banging on but they were kongs, yes, the musical instruments. And the oldest kongs also relate to the Minoan culture, to the Mycenaeans. And their skunks were played around the folk culture. So the gong is also an ancient instrument that we are using in our modern times. And, and the stories about many ancient instruments come back to this modern day when we are rediscovering or repurposing some of the most ancient discoveries and instruments from the ancient world. So we, we really are the <laughs> related to our ancestors. So I wish you know a good day and we shall continue tomorrow.